what was the fundamental obstacle that you felt in order to over overcome that improved your business success? Um, very early on in my career, I tended to put a lot of eggs in one basket, have one big client or two real major clients, and then when they turn around and they just take the work off you from no certain reason, maybe somebody else is doing it cheaper or somebody else is doing a slightly better job perhaps, and they pull the rug from, out, from under your feet, um, you can be in a real sticky situation. So from there on I learned that it's better to have lots of little clients rather than one great big ugly nasty client that can really make a difference in business. So spread your wings as opposed Absolutely, to yeah, yeah. Just, your yeah, lots, lots of little bits. There are, Arthur Daly once said, there are nice little learners and there are nasty big earners. Right. Uh, and I certainly adhere to that. It's, it's always the nice earners all the time. Um, well, yeah, I've, my firm has recently expanded quite significantly. So we now, I, mean, I used to do everything across the board and now I sort of tend to let somebody else do the, the web design work. I concentrate on branding. Uh, on, that's my sort of, that's my area of expertise. We use other firms for video um, and we use other firms for all, all sorts of business, photography, you know, everything you can. But it's, so it's a very much a collaborative process all the time. Um, use the best people you can really for those, for those jobs and use the, the best people for that particular job so we use lots of different photographers some for some jobs some for others so yeah collaboration all the way totally uh, trust absolutely but mm. the megalomania thing is if I'm a designer so I want to design everything I want to control everything on the way and that's been a real a real challenge to suddenly let somebody else do the work because I'm always going to look at it and see instantly something that's wrong with it into my eyes so yeah trying to um, let somebody else have a run with it is a very very important thing. They're, they're only going to get better by being by making the mistakes in the first place. So yeah, I've had to try and learn to let people make mistakes and educate them into doing things properly, as opposed to just taking over and going, no, well, I'll do it myself. So there is definitely a balance between the ability to nurture one's own concept, but also afford a balance to one's own skills. Yes. To help, obviously, to get the, the final product in with the use, perhaps sometimes of others for that. Yeah, today. absolutely. I can't do what I do with it for the next 30 years. I need someone else to take over. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, no, get some and, and whilst on that point of the next 30 years, what do you envisage happening in your life for the next three decades in relation to your business? Oh, dear. Um, retirement, hopefully, sooner rather than later. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'd, I'd yeah, like to retire. But, yeah, just. Making the firm bigger, making it so that it can function without me and without the other principal partner in the company, um, and just you know, just being able to sit back and, and just enjoy the fruits of the labour. You work really hard as an entrepreneur. You, you just put all the hours of, of, the, of the week in, and your family life and other things can suffer for that. So, at some point, there's got to be the point where you can go, right, enough's enough. Now I can actually spend a bit more time with the family, do the things that I want to do, enjoy my life. Now.